Hi, my name is Houston Vines with Insight TV. Today we have an excellent show for you. We're here in Creemore, North Carolina for our Sean Farmer Boot Camp for basketball. Now this is for the greatness coming up. These young guys and young women are putting in the skills and the training right now. We're gonna show you what it's all about. Your Insight TV starts now. All right, once again, like we mentioned earlier, we're here for the Sean Farmer Boot Camp Training Session for basketball players. Uh, I'm here with a parent. Um, look, tell me, what is your name? My name is Rod Teal. Uh, Mr. Teal, tell me a little bit about how did you find out about this training session in boot camp? Actually, I found out by accident. Uh, we were participating on another AEU team, and that AEU team branched off into this area in Durham. Okay. And so we, what we decided to do is join the team, and by joining the team, we met Coach Farmer. And instantaneously, I, uh, I could feel exactly what he was talking about and what he was trying to teach the kids, and I just wanted my son to be a part of it. Okay. So I en ended up uh, joining the team and coming to this camp, and it's been a wonderful experience for me and my son. Okay, okay. now since your son has started the camp, um, have, you, have you noticed that he's listening? Um, and, and learning some things about the game of basketball instead of just shooting shots. Yes, yes, he has definitely learned some things about the game of basketball. One of the things that I found out is that as your children get older, they tend not to listen to you as much. They tend to tune you out. But what, I found, what I've discovered is that he's been able to tune Coach Farmer in, and he hangs on every word he says, and I actually see him actually going on the court and doing exactly what he wants him to do. And what is so great about it, Coach Farmer rewards him about with constant praise and telling him what he does right, but he also tells him what he does wrong. And he stays with him long enough to make sure he understands exactly what he wants him to produce. And it's been a wonderful experience. Excellent, excellent. Now, I've noticed that myself with, mm -hmm. with Coach Farmer. Um, he'll grill him. Yes. You know, he'll get on him and, and about, you know, right. get, dude, that's not what I said. Mm -hmm. Try it again, but he'll come back within about 30 mm -hmm. seconds. Mm -hmm. You got it. That's exactly. it. And he pats him on the back. I, I, I can appreciate his old school approach because when, as I was, uh, growing up playing basketball in high school and a little bit in college, I could appreciate how he's doing it because I think that what a lot of kids are missing today is that sternness, but also coming back and giving them that care and reward to make sure that they understand you did something right this time and they feel so good about it. They want to go back out and repeat it over and over again. They don't want to disappoint him. Right. And so I think that that's a wonderful attribute for a coach to have. Excellent, excellent. All right, once again, Mr. Teal. Mm -hmm. Mr. All right, I'm here with Mr. Teal. He's talking about Sean's former basketball boot camp. Trust me, this guy puts your kids through the drills, puts in the work, but he also shows them the reward at the end. Insight TV, we'll be back right after this. Oh. I'm here with one of the coaches from Sean's Farmers Boot Camp Training Session. Um, and you're Coach Walton, yes. tell me a little bit, how did you find out about the, the camp or get involved with Sean Farmer? Well, you know, these days we have some kids that are interested in trying to bring a little bit more to their basketball game. And the news that travels was by word of mouth. Word of mouth. I was able to hear about some kids that was interested in attending a camp. You know, parents are very involved. And uh, Coach Walker, another coach that helps out with uh, boot camp okay, okay. Uh, pretty much said hey coach got something going on here you'd be interested in this guy named okay. Sean Farmer okay. and I was like okay let me come take a look you know and from then on it was it, it was it like was, it was on from there. it was on from there okay you know? uh, I, I noticed like you said um, he takes some kids that already love the game of basketball and help sharpen their skills um, 
So even if your, your child is, is gifted or is good at basketball, they can always learn the details of the game as far as um, noticing different plays and different setups that he's doing. Is that something that he's created over time or he's just started that from day one with these kids? Well, he's, he's, he really studies this. You know, and the passion comes out in all the drills that you see because it's, it's not just a simple dribble here or a pass. It's complicated things. It's requiring the kids to think. You know, it's requiring the kids to, to try to learn the game. Bring the skills that you also are learning throughout the camp and bring it all into one thing where it can mesh. So he's done a real good job with that. Excellent, excellent. Well, I tell you what, I can see the passion in your eyes when you were talking oh, yeah, about you, it. You definitely got to be passionate with this thing. You know, you just... You, you live vicariously through these kids. Okay. You know, it's because when you see them succeed, that's where you get your your, your success. Just seeing them succeed, <laughs> exactly. you know? Exactly. Coach Farmer is very good at being passionate because he wants them to succeed. We all want to see them, whether it's a simple thing, it's a triple threat, you know, anything of that nature. You want to see them be able to perfect those type of things. Okay, okay. So like you said, Coach Walton, right? Yes. Um, now, with the enthusiasm that you have for the game of basketball, did you play ball or you just kind of oh, yes. got into it later on? Oh, yes. Tell me a little bit. I'm, I'm very thankful for what this game has provided. You know, uh, the, the, the thing that we love so much with, with basketball is how it provides a tool, a tool for you to learn other things in life, such as, you know, character and uh, certain leadership skills and things that you learn just right. playing sports. You know, I played a little basketball at my high school at Chapel Hill High, and then I went and played basketball Division II Belmont Abbey, located around the Charlotte area. Okay. And then I was like, you know what, I really enjoy doing this thing. And I was thinking about doing professional, and for a reason, uh -huh. I volunteered coaching. Gotcha. And when I, I got into coaching, it, I, I was just magnified. You know, it, it just grabbed me. It's because I was like, hey, you know what? Here's an opportunity to teach back, give back. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, it's only but so long you get to play this game. Right. But you know, you can coach it for a long time. That's all right. Coach it for a long time. So all the things that I've been able to learn just growing up, doing like things, uh, little things like, you know, we didn't have this kind of stuff back in the days. Right, right. You know, we just went out to the park and we just played basketball and that was our way of learning. So when you have opportunity for things like this and you get a good chance to learn little things, it's going to help you in the long run to possibly maybe one day some, one of these kids might be a Sean Farmer, you know? There you, there you go. All <laughs> right. Well, once again, thanks for talking with us. Appreciate Definitely taking and talking with us. Once again, I'm here, Sean Farmer's basketball boot camp training session right here in Creedmoor, North Carolina. Talking with Coach Walton and definitely going to enjoy some of the sessions that we're going to have today. We'll be back right after this. Hey, Dad. All right, we're still here. We're talking with some other people, some um, parents and some of the students from Sean's former basketball training and boot camp. Look, tell me your name. I'm Brittany Powell. Brianna Powell. And I'm Tira Powell. Okay. So now look, tell me a little bit about how did you find out about um, his boot camp and training? Uh, we found out about um, Sean's boot camp uh, training through Coach Walker, Robert Walker. Um, he had a he has an AU team and he was telling us he was putting together a boot camp and also the girls do some training with them. We have three, uh, three girls and all three of them actually do training with uh, Sean. So when we found out he was doing a boot camp, it was only natural for us to want to participate. Okay, okay. Now with the boot camp, have you girls, just tell me, have you girls learned a few things from Sean Farmer oh, from yeah. his boot camp? Definitely. Um, wear two pairs of socks because the cutting is very uh, intense. Mm -hmm. Also, the shot fakes and jabs are a useful skill in the game and to be shot ready for when you shoot. Um, most of his drills are game-like, so we can, he shows us how they put it, how we should do this in a game, and it helps a lot to um, what to cut, what to do, how, to, how low to get, it, et cetera. Well, I've noticed, like you said, it's like game situation. I've seen some training camps where they just have them go to the line, they shoot, and they move to the corner, they shoot. But I noticed that he gets in your face, He's trying to block his shot. Um, he'll put a man in front of you and you have to go around. I mean, is that something that you had to kind of learn? I know you may have known a little bit before the camp, but did you learn a lot like with that? Um, I did. It helped more because I knew what to do. when I, if, I, if I was in a game, I'd, 
and I saw that kind of defensive uh, attack on myself, I would. Um, you knew exactly no, what to do. Yeah. With okay. Same with you? Yeah, exact same. I know I'm not afraid when someone comes at me to try and block my shot because. Coach Farmer is much more scarier. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, the one thing I was um, wanted to share with you was what Brianna was sharing with you. With the cuts that he has you making with his drills, the girls found the first day that they had a lot of blisters on their feet because he focuses not only going north-south but also east-west with the cuts. And so they found that they needed to wear two pair of socks and not just two pair but two pair of thick socks. The second piece that they were sharing with you was uh, game ready. Uh, uh, when he, the speed that he plays at, a lot of camps will let you just go through the drills. But with Sean, he wants you to go game speed because he says the way you practice is the way you're going to play, which of course we all know that, that um, cliche in basketball. But when you're not going game speed, he lets you know. And that intensity is what's different about his camp and anybody else's camp. He gives, as you were saying, right in your face, he lets you know when you're doing something well and he lets you know when you're not doing Why are you going so slow? You know, He'll let you know up front. There's no doubt the kids aren't wondering where they stand. They know clearly where they stand when they, when they work with him. Well, once again, we're talking with some parents and some of the students from Sean's Farmer Boot Camp. Um, they definitely got their socks on. I saw a couple of them putting two or three pairs of socks on. <laughs> so this is mostly some definitely intensive training here. So thank you guys for talking with us. And um, we're going to be back. We're going to talk with some more parents and show you some of the footage here on Inside TV. All right, I'm here with Austin Teal. He's one of the, um, how can I put it? One of the warriors, I would say, out here today um, for Sean's boot camp training. Tell me a little bit about it. It is very intense. It takes a lot of hard work. You just gotta push yourself until um, it's over. Until it's over? Yes, now I noticed that you got, he doesn't let you guys go half speed. It's like full speed ahead. Yes, I see you guys, what are some of the things that you had to work on when you came into this camp, was it a crossover? Was it the cuts? Tell me a little bit about. Um, just gotta keep your head in. The first time I came, I wasn't like as ready. I wasn't ready, so he got in my head. He got on me. It's something like boot camp. You just gotta go all out. So when you came it's in, a, you thought your game mind. was yeah, it's a mind thing. It's a mind thing. Yeah. So when you first got here, you was like, okay, I can handle this, no problem. But he kind of yeah. stopped on that. Yes, sir. <laughs> So now, like when when he does get on you guys about about the game, I notice that he appraises you guys when you get it right as well. Yes, sir. Um, but when he's pushing you like that, does, does he push you to the point sometimes you like, okay, I knew I could do it, but I didn't know if I could get it down yeah. that well. Yeah, he pushes us all the time, and he, he's a good motivator. He okay. keeps me motivated, and if I can't do it, he, he'll tell me that I can until I do it right. He gets get it down, right. like they're doing. Okay. Now, since you've been coming to the camp, have you seen an improvement in your game? Yes, sir. Um, even like on the court, just playing yeah. with your boys out on court, can you see a difference? Yes, sir. My handles, because when I got here, my handles weren't as on it's point, tight. but now they're tight now. They're okay. tight. Okay. You know, uh, what school? Um, Hillside what? High School. Hillside. Hillside High School. In Durham. In Durham, North yeah. Carolina. How old are you? Um, 15, by the turn of 16, April 28th. Okay, so you'll be playing for the high school. Yes, sir. I was varsity this year. Varsity. Oh, varsity. Yes, sir. Okay, so now the varsity is not easy to get into at your age. So you had to kind of push yourself. So you got a little yes, skill. Yes, sir. So you think you can take me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, is that a challenge? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. We'll be back right after this. I'm here with my young man. He is definitely sweating. Sean is putting him through the drills, doing a fantastic job. We're going to have to come check you out at high school. All right. All right. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You can't take me, though. <laughs> All right. Insight TV. We'll be back right after this.
All right, we're still here at Sean's Farmer Boot Camp training for basketball. I'm here with another uh, parent. Tell me, what's your name? Yashika Drew. Okay, now tell me a little bit about how did you guys find out about the camp and what's your son's name? My son's name is Deshaun Self. Um, we found out about the camp through Coach Walker, who is actually his AAU coach. Um, he's been training with him for about four weeks now, and we've seen a lot of improvement, footwork, um, consistency, self-confidence. Okay, okay. So, so the training has really helped him with his confidence in the game because yeah. he probably has some skills and ability to even get in the boot camp itself. Um, but you can see a difference in him. Yes, I can. Um, fundamentals, um, he's really improved. Okay, okay. Now, with him doing that, do you does he get a chance to kind of practice at home or – because um, I see they do a lot of different drills. Does he get a chance to kind of play, practice at home or he kind of wait until he gets here on the weekend? He practices at home and also he likes to go to the Y. And so when he goes to the Y, he tends to practice there also. Okay, okay. So like you said, he's been here about four weeks. Yes. And you've seen a, a change in his game. Yes. His little handles. I saw you kind of do this like here. Like he's got a little handle. So has it, did he learn anything from his mom? Did she play ball or anything like that? No, I just kept the score. <laughs> you just kept the score. All right, once again, I have here at Sean's former boot camp training with basketball uh, with a lo lovely young lady and her son is here. Years of, not years of training, but uh, four weeks of training and you can see a major difference. Yes. All right, so Insight TV will be back right after this. All right, I am here with Shane, a young man that is part of uh, Sean's boot camp. Tell me a little bit about it. How did you find out about the boot camp? I found out about the boot camp a uh, few, like, Six months ago, when uh, my AAU coach wanted to bring me here because he wanted to work on my fundamental basketball skills, and he thought that Coach Farmer was my ticket okay. to being a good basketball player. Okay. So um, his one of his relatives found out about it, and then he told Coach Walker, and then Coach okay. Walker told me, and then That's we how you find out then about we found out about, it. and we just started. We've been coming here for since September, okay. and yeah, you like it? yeah, I do. It's okay. it, the good thing about Coach Farmer is that. When you do the drills, he he's not like a lot of other coaches that just let you run through the motions. He actually wants you to do it right, and if you don't do it right, he'll make you do it right. Yeah, he'll put it on you. Yeah, he will. Okay, so like you said, you've been coming for about six months. Mm -hmm. Have you seen a change in your game since you've been coming to um, yeah, camp? I've, I, before I came, I was just a shooter, and I couldn't dribble that well. And now I've been um, working on my fundamental skills of attacking the basket more and getting people off me so I can create my own shots and just instead of being a standstill shooter. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you've definitely seen an improvement in your game. Yes, I and I noticed when you were out there, I see you kind of attacking the goal a little bit yeah. um, and just moving around, not standing still. Yeah, because uh, I'm just, I mean, his all his moves are moves that either create space, help you attack, or just they're, they're all fundamental moves for, bas for a basketball player. And he's helped me become a, a full player, not just a... Oh, one part. Now, are you in high school? Yes, I'm nice. a freshman. Freshman in high school? Yeah, Chapel Hill High. Chapel Hill High. Yes. Okay, so you planning to try out this year? Yeah. Okay. I wanna. Uh, I'm planning to try out because I made I made JV freshman year. Now I'm trying to um, come to Coach Farmer more, as much as I can and step it up and make varsity next year. All right. Once again, thanks for talking with us. Good game on you. Thanks. All right. All right. Still here enjoying. These guys have learned a lot coming through Coach Farmer. Um, if you actually see some of the footage that we've got, these guys are doing an excellent, excellent job. Now, if you want to get your kids involved, we're going to give you some information so you can find out about that. But make sure they're ready when they get here. Okay, he's going to put them through the ropes. Hi, my name is Houston Vines, Insight TV. We are here at Sean's Farmer Basketball Boot Training Camp. Um, and I'm with the man himself, Sean Former. Sean, how are you doing? Tell me a little bit about how you got this whole thing started. I'm doing great, actually. I've been here now for about a year and a half. Uh, we, I mean, it's every Saturday, pretty mm -hmm. much every Sunday afternoon is on Sunday from 3 until 8 o'clock. Okay. Uh, we're training kids the right way, how to do things the right way, how to play the game the right way. Uh, this generation is different, as you know. Uh, when I came up, we didn't have a, a instructor mm -hmm. uh, to come in the gym every weekend. I mean, every weekend, gotcha. and give us uh, the proper techniques, uh, the terminologies, mm -hmm. uh, things that will help us uh, throughout the course 
of our year uh, basketball ye during the basketball season. Mm -hmm. uh, now parents are able with the way the economy is mm -hmm. to uh, afford to have their child properly trained by a, what they say I am, a professional. Right. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, look, let me ask you this. With you, like when you first got this whole thing started, tell us a little bit about you. I know you played basketball in high school. I heard you were pretty good. Um, and overseas and different things. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I met myself, me coming up in the, the Pitt County area, uh, of course, you know that there were a lot of good players at right. that time. Uh, Keith Gatlin, who inspired me mm -hmm. by me watching him in high school. Uh, he played with D.H. Conley High School. I really, really loved the way he played the game and the passion that he had for, for getting better. Mm -hmm. And uh, I tried to emulate my game and, in other words, pattern my game after his. Mm -hmm. And uh, so then I had a couple of guys that were with me that were really, really good at the time. Uh, Ronnie L. Peterson, uh, Eric Blunt, uh, who played the game at a high level. Mm -hmm. And pretty much they were younger than I was, mm -hmm. but they took me pretty much under their wings and showed me some things that I didn't have knowledge of. Uh, you know, the Pitt County area, uh, was good to me, mm -hmm. uh, but I really can't talk about my successes without talking about my my failures and my mm -hmm. choices that I made. Uh, there are some things that has happened to me that have have that put me back on course, getting back to the game of basketball. Uh, gotcha. You know, we all go through things exactly. in life. That's, that's part of growing uh, up. Yeah, hey, we all go through things in life, but I, I really uh, had this 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 thing where I. I just said, I mean, I need to get back in, in the game of basketball. Uh, I have two sons that are, are playing sports, uh, Angelo and, and Reese uh, Farmer, and, and they, you know, they look to me as that guide. Right, and right. I have to be sharp mm -hmm. in my approach to what I'm doing so I can pour back into my kids. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. And so now I have almost 60 kids now gotcha. uh, that I have to pour into. And uh, and yeah. it's pretty it's pretty much been been really really good because we started with ten kids and now it has grown to almost sixty five kids mm -hmm. every weekend gotcha. from all the surrounding areas Durham Chapel Hill Greensboro even have a girl who just committed to UNC uh, North Carolina University named Jamie Cherry out of New Bern okay. who okay. drives up here almost every Saturday to train right. so it, it's a blessing man I I, I can't. Uh, speak on what I can do without speaking on the gift that God has has uh, bestowed upon you. Bestowed upon me. Absolutely. Well, I tell you what, when I talk with some of the parents and the kids, and they're like, "He's intense." They say, "But that's what they like about your boot camp and your training sessions is that you talk to the kids and you tell them, no, 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 that's that's not the right way to do it, and you'll show them the right way, then you pat them on the back to let them know that they can do it." But what else would you say makes your camp different than someone else down the street or somewhere? You know, there's a lot of different camps here and there. But I've noticed with your camp, you're doing training. You're not just letting them go through the drills. They're training. So what makes it different? Well, I try to emphasize uh, the basics, uh, which a lot of camps do emphasize the basics. But breaking the basics down, right. step by step, uh, really, really elementarizing if that is a word, right, right. to its simplest form. Right. Uh, most of these kids are very knowledgeable and they pick up things very quickly. They are smart kids. This generation, I've learned that they are smart kids. So it makes my job a lot easier. Even though I get re it gets redundant at times, mm -hmm. these kids come back on a consistent basis and they understand my approach, my philosophy, and my terminology. Now, you can't reinvent the wheel when you're talking about basketball. Right. Each trainer has his or her own way of doing things. Right. Each coach has his or her own way of coaching. My training, I, I keep there what we like to say here, their feet to the fire. There is a penalty for wrongdoing. Gotcha. gotcha. We, we make sure. Just like life. Yes, there is a penalty for wrongdoing in here. We, I don't tolerate you coming in here dragging. Mm -hmm. I don't tolerate your excuses here. I don't tolerate your disrespect here. That's not done here. We don't do that here in Creedmoor. Right. And that's what make my camp different. Gotcha, gotcha. 
Well, I'll tell you what, if someone wanted to find out about your camp or to get their kids involved, I know you have a website, um, but also tell us the website and how can they get in contact with you. Website is called SeanFarmerBasketball.com. Uh, and I really don't do any marketing mm -hmm. at all. My marketing is by word of mouth. Right. Uh, this area here is different than a lot of areas, Houston. Mm -hmm. uh, this area here, I, you know, I've come to learn that the Raleigh, or shall I say the triangle area, right. is a lot different than the rural small town areas. Right. Because when I came up in high school, we used to play against people from the Raleigh area, and we did not understand why they were so physically developed. Mm -hmm. The physicality when we play a team from Raleigh or when we meet up against a team from Durham or Chapel Hill, and now I understand they all have personal trainers at an early age. Early age. So they were ahead of the curve. We were country boys. Right. You know, right. we learning things from what we say, the mini park. Yeah. So, but I don't do any marketing. My marketing is word of mouth, and you can hit me up on my website. Well, once again, I'm here with Sean Farmer. Intensive training for these kids. You've done a great job. You've played overseas and a lot of different places, um, but you're bringing it back to your home state and, and kind of spreading the word. Once again, we'd like to thank everybody. Insight TV, we'll be back right after this. Oh.